Hi, I'm Terry, and I'm nuts about stamping. I'm back today with another Sundays with Sizzix project. I'm going to show you another Mother's Day card idea because you can never have too many of those with the help of my Big Shot, my Ovals Collection Framelits, and my Birthday Blooms stamp set. First thing I'm going to do is ink up one of the flowers from the Birthday Blooms stamp set, and I'm going to stamp it down on a scrap piece of Whisper White cardstock. The next thing I'm going to do is take the phrase that says for you and I'm going to ink it up using mint macaron and I'm going to stamp it right beside the flower towards the top. Then what I'm going to do is arrange my framelit around the, both of those images and I'm going to die cut it out for the front of my card. So my sandwich for my Big Shot is my platform, my bottom standard cutting pad. I'm going to take the framelit and put it around the flower. I want to make sure that it's going to be nice and straight. Okay, I think like that. And then the top standard cutting pad. And then I'm going to hold it in place and run it through the Big Shot. Now that that part is done, I'm going to bring in my blender pen set. I'm going to choose one of my blender pens and I'm going to color the flower using Mint Macaron and Blushing Bride. So I'm going to pick up the color with my blender pen and I'm just going to use a circular motion to color the flower and then I'm using the pinkish color and then I'm going to use mint macaron for the stem. Okay, and then to clean my blender pen, all I do is just rub it on a piece of scrap paper or one of our grid sheets until it runs clean. And then I'm going to go straight to my next color, which is the Mint Macaron. And color the leaves and the stem. And there we go, I have it all colored and ready to use as a layer for the front of my card. Now my card base is going to be mint macaron. I've cut it eight and a half by five and a half and scored it on the four and a quarter mark. And to that, I'm going to add a layer of the birthday bouquet designer series paper. I'm going to adhere that on top. And this is cut five and a quarter by four. So it sits as a perfect layer, with a quarter inch around on either side. And then I have two additional scrap pieces of the same pack of paper. And I'm going to bring in my triple banner punch. And I'm going to create two banners for the front of my card. I'll have the dimensions over on my blog afterwards. So I'm going to adhere the longer one first. And then I'm going to do the shorter one on top of it. And then to complete my card, I am going to take my oval and I'm going to put a couple of stamping dimensionals on the back. And I'm 
going to add that to the front of my card, like so. And then the last thing I'm going to do is bring in, I have some Whisper White Baker's Twine that I cut, or that I formed into a bow, and then I cut it off the bolt, and I'm going to just press the knot onto a mini glue dot, pull it off, and attach it underneath the phrase to complete my Mother's Day card. I've got a little kink in the ribbon. I'll worry that out in a minute or I can just add some pressure to it so that it lays flat. And when it's mailed, it'll also lay flat. For a complete listing of the supplies that I used and the measurement for the cardstock layers, hop on over to my blog, www.nutsaboutstamping.com. While on my blog, make sure you subscribe to my free newsletters. They come out each month and show you really fun and exclusive product ideas and project ideas. You can also place an order for the products I use to make this card. Remember that some of these products will be retiring when the annual catalog and when the occasions catalog retire. I'm Terry. I'm nuts about stamping. See you next time. Bye for now.